forest to see Miss G. She lives in a house that is mostly green, except for the chimney and windows and walls, and one or two places just down the halls, and swill with rabbits and newts and snails, and fat little puppies that wag their tails, and a whale and a tiger and elephants too. Well, maybe not elephants. Hi. Come on in and meet my new friend, Taru, the ocelot. Did you ever see an ocelot before? Or have any idea what an ocelot is? <laughs> well, here's a real live ocelot. And uh, he's sort of in a, um, what kind of a mood would you say, Mary Ann? <laughs> a little disturbed mood right now. <laughs> this is my friend, Mary Ann Bressy. Welcome to HodgePodge. Have you got a free yeah, hand? <laughs> Mary, Mary Ann Bressy, and she has an unusual pet, Taru the Ocelot. And I invited her to come from Pennsylvania today to show you and Stacy and Keith what it's like to have a ocelot for a pet. What do you think it would be like, Stacy? Are you beginning to get the general idea? Yes. <laughs> First of all, what is an ocelot? Can you have you figured out what family the ocelot belongs to? The tiger and the, the cat family. The right, the cat family includes all those. How many other cat can you think of? A tiger and a leopard. A tiger and a leopard and a wildcat. And wildcat, cheetah, good. Bobcat. Bobcat. How about lions? Yes. Right. And how about just plain ordinary cats? <laughs> well, what would you like to know about Taru? Where he was born? He was born in South America, in Uruguay. In Uruguay. There's a... So Aurora was born in South America, too, wasn't he? I decided I'd better um, not let him come in today because I was afraid he and the cat, the ocelot, might not get along too well together, even if they were both born in South America. <laughs> no, I don't believe. <laughs> oh. He was born in Uruguay, and what kind of a place do you think a cat like this might live in? A jungle. A jungle. And that's exactly where Aurora used to live, too. Did you hear him growl a minute ago? Yeah. Does it sound like a, a pussy cat, a house cat? <laughs> You're brave today, Stacy. You don't have any pets at your apartment, do you? No. no. You Does he climb trees? Good question. Yes, he would. He'd climb lots of trees. He always tries to get to the highest place he can find. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you thought you were a tree, Stacy. <laughs> and he has sharp teeth that he... He's just sort of playing, isn't he, Keith? Now, don't play with him too much, or he might think you're another ocelot. <laughs> That's the way he likes to play. He'll always uh, bite. Roll over on his back. Mm -hmm. He'll sneak up on you or attack you. <laughs> That's one of his favorite toys. He what? likes to throw them in the air, catch them, and rolls around the floor. <laughs> <laughs> How about chewing on the furniture? Have you had any problems that way? Uh, not too much, no. He only goes after some wooden things, like the arms of a chair. <laughs> he can't. Don't worry about our chairs, because the bar's <laughs> already chewed on them all. <laughs> I don't know uh. While he's up here where we can take a look at him before he disappears under the table, um, tell us quickly what things you see that make him an ocelot and not some other kind of cat. He's got big eyes. He has very big eyes. And what does that tell you, Keith? When do you think he goes out hunting? If he were At staying? night. Probably at night. Is that right, Mary? That's right, yes. <laughs> they all uh, stay in their caves all day. Oh, they live in caves? Mm -hmm. oh. When they're in the jungle, they stay in the caves. Great. You don't go out by yourself? No, I don't, because <laughs> he's too fast. They run too fast, and if he got away, that'd be the end of them. Would they live in the Rocky Mountains or something? That's a good question, because uh, they... They live on the Rocky, bordering the jungles, mean. but I don't know about the Rocky Mountains. They do so. come into the southern United States, don't they, in Texas? I read, yes, they I was, do. Yes. I was trying to do a little research. <laughs> I knew you were coming. Oh, Keith, let's see. He's, got, he's found the wastebasket. Marianne said he likes to tip over wastebaskets and see what's inside. 
Chew on plants. And chew on plants. Do uh, you have any house plants at your house? Green seed. I think that's <laughs> after all the greens. You see a few teeth marks and leaves missing. Does he do that because um, he just likes to chew on things? Or some cats go out and eat grass. Yes, uh, that's what he does. To make them to settle his stomach. Right. Mm -hmm. Good vitamins, right? Goodness. See, he swallowed that leaf. Goodness. Sounds like he has a bad cough. <laughs> <laughs> Are you curious about how come Mary Ann has Taru for a pet? Yes. Why don't you ask her that? <laughs> Find out the story. It's an unusual story. Did anybody give him to you? My boyfriend bought him and gave him to me yeah. to raise for him. How much did he cost? Well, this one cost $350, but they usually are more than that. How much do the big ones cost? You only buy them when they're kittens like this. Right. What do you think might happen if you tried to take a full-grown ocelot into your house and make a pet out of it? And tear it apart because, right. it, because he wouldn't be able to keep it very long. Right, he probably he wouldn't be used to people, and it'd be more pro problems <laughs> than pet. <laughs> you had sort of a problem like that with your raccoon one time, didn't you, Keith? Mm -hmm. He was fine when he was a baby. The older he got, <laughs> the wilder he got. <laughs> What's he doing? Chewing on the leaf. Oh, still chewing on the leaf. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe he'll come back up and. Uh, a little while and we can take a look at his uh, I like those white spots on his ears did you mention jaguars when you were talking about different kinds of cats no. when I was a little girl one of the little rhymes I had to learn was if you want to show how brave you are just shake hands with a jaguar <laughs> <laughs> did you ever hear that no. <laughs> maybe you can make up one about an ocelot uh, did you say he's gonna get bigger than this yes he will he'll be about three feet long Weigh about 30 pounds. Can you show? Well, our, our cocoa table's about three feet wide, I think. So he's going to be as That's wide as a body tape. size, right? Without his tail. Without his oh. tail. Oh, oh. And he'll weigh about 30 pounds. How much do you weigh, Stacy? 60. 60. So he'll weigh half as much as you. What do they eat in the jungle? Are they after food? The animals, rabbits. Do they go eat after. meat? Mm-hmm. He likes meat. He likes lamb and horse meat oh. and beef the best. What do you do? Just buy regular cat food? Cat food, and I'll also buy just uh, beef myself. And one thing he likes is all of his food has to be cooked. Oh, for goodness sakes. Isn't that strange? Mm -hmm. You'd think that a jungle animal would like raw, raw. food. <laughs> you won't eat it raw. How long have you had him? I've had him about eight months now. Oh. What's he doing, Keith? He's licking my leaf. <laughs> He's licking. He's trying to catch it. Sweet. Playing games. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine on him. <laughs> what do you think? You think your mother would like would let you have a pet Oslo? Nope. No, your uh, your your Stacy says no. What do you think, Keith? I don't know. She likes most all kinds of animals, doesn't she? Uh -huh. You want to tell Marianne how many animals you have at, at your farm right now? Um, let's see. We have t about twenty some twenty some horses. My heavens! <laughs> three cats and a dog. And they all get along. Mm-hmm. And Except if, one cat get, don't get along with the two other cats. <laughs> and then you have all kinds of things in the woods and the ponds. Yeah, dog chases all the cats all over the place. I used, I used to have a raccoon, and um, he he played with all the dogs and all. And so um, and my grandmother she has a little dog, and so it chased it under the um, <laughs> it chased it under the you know on the long chairs and all. Oh, good time. Well, he's finished demolishing the wastebasket. Look how he keeps his ears up and listens to see what's going on. <laughs> Do you have any other pets? I have another cat at home, just an ordinary house cat. 
Did but you? They don't get along too well. <laughs> Did you have that house cat before you got this one? Yes, I had it in a few years, <laughs> and it's jealous. Oh, I bet he is. He feels like he's probably been dethroned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He'll purposely go over and eat Taro's food, or sleep in his bed. Oh, that's. Uh, where, um, where does he sleep? Does he sleep in the bed or? Taro? Yes. He sleeps in my bedroom. <sighs> Do you keep the leash on him all the time, or just when you're leaving home? Uh, when nobody's home, he's on a leash all the time. But when I'm around, you should I let him roam around a little mm -hmm. bit, because he needs exercise. <laughs> Does he jump on your furniture a lot? If you let him, he will. He likes to climb high and look down at you, or leap <laughs> on your head. You think he might come back up on the table? Again, so we could take a look at his feet and his ears and his nose and his eyes and his spots. Okay. There, Taru. So Keith already noticed what beautiful big eyes you have. Yeah. He says, oh. And these are the... Oh, he doesn't like he's not going to let us touch his ears. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's all right. Now we can look at his tail. What's he using his tail for right now? I think it's sort of like a kangaroo's tail helps keep him from falling over backwards, sort of balances him. Mm -hmm. How does it feel, Stacy? Soft. Very soft. I suppose the ocelots are one of the animals that uh, might have been made into fur coats. They make and, them, but they're very expensive. And uh, it takes it's not very good for the ocelots. Either. No, it isn't. They're uh, becoming extinct. Because of that. And I think everybody's getting more conscious now of of um, not killing wild animals for their fur. Mm -hmm. And you can get just as warm a coat made out of fake fur. What? Does he wiggle his tail a lot? Uh, does he? A little you know, more than usual now. House cats wiggle theirs when they're... When they're unhappy. When they're unha angry sometimes. Mm -hmm. While he was up here, let's see if you, how good your memory is. Did you see whether all his, all the black, spot, black markings are spots or some of them stripes? Some of them are stripes. His tail with the black ones for mostly That's stripes. Right. He has some spots and some stripes. Come on, no, Taru, get your head out of the basket. And if I put some of this up here, you know. Hey, that's right. an idea. Right. Uh, ocelot psychology. <laughs> I don't think there's any poi nothing poisonous in there. It's most <laughs> uh, honeysuckle. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have a chance to fool around with pl these plants much no, if no. he stays in your house. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Here, hop up here. We got put some up here. Okay. There. Now. Now don't try to too the many things at once. See how he's dark right. on top and it turns to light tan and underneath he's all white. See that? Down here he has big spots. Down here he has small. He has white and sort of and different shades of brown. And, and a mind of his own. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one stripe that goes practically all the way down his back. Where, right here? This stripe. Yeah. What do you suppose he has tags on for? You usually see dogs with if tags. If they get lost, and someone finds him, we'll take him back to his home. Right. Very good. I think some, uh, all dogs are supposed to have licenses, but they haven't gotten around to having it for cats yet. And even if it, did, if it was... If there were licenses for cats, you probably wouldn't have to have one for him because he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's so unusual. There's a... And look how he can just balance on the edge of the table and reach into the basket. Can't you just see him up in because a tree? His, his front claws um, were chipped and his back ones aren't. Right. I can just see him sitting up on a branch. Oh, now he's twitching his tail. Oh, and that, and there he's showing you his face. Don't, don't tease him now. He's, he's behaving very nicely. Good to see you. Does his name have any special meaning? No, just a jungle name. Jungle name. That's all. Certainly does sound like a jungle name. Taru of the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> how did you find out how to take care of an ocelot? When we got him, they sent us a letter recommending to join the ocelot club. An ocelot club? In Long Island, right? My goodness. <laughs> and they that. sent us a booklet and told you everything about him. D does it tell you how many people there are in the United States that have ocelots? Oh, uh, there's a few thousand. Goodness Ocelots sakes. or other wild animals. 
<laughs> Only exotic cash. Isn't that amazing? There are more kinds of clubs than you can even think of. I knew there were uh, cat clubs and dog clubs, and I found out there were there was a whole club for people that grow lilies, and another one for orchids, and another mm -hmm. one for daffodils. But I didn't know there was one for ocelots. Well, maybe he's going to show us how he can climb on the stool. You think he might do that like a circus cat? And he's still chasing after this. <laughs> He just wants these leaves. He just dogs. wants leaves. Well, maybe we'll have to uh, have Keith go take the leaves away. Oh, well, it's better to have him chewing on something, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone had asked me how Taru was going to behave, I would, would not have guessed that he was going to chew on leaves. <laughs> oh, you think if we put the leaves on the stool, he might go up after them? Try. Now that we found out the key to success. Taru? Okay. Look. Look what's up here. Want me to move the basket? Come well, on. I think he's getting the idea. I think he's getting the Come idea. On, Maybe he'll jump. Oops. Come on up. Yeah, while he's gone. Well, how about his own food? How about if you put him up there? Do you think he'd be happy for a minute? Up on the stool? Yeah. <laughs> there, Taru's to pretend you're a circus cat. Oh, oh beautiful. Hey, Taru. Have you ever been to the circus, children, and seen the... No, but I see it on TV. On TV, you see the cats sitting on stools. They have lions sometimes. Right. Have you ever thought about how much training it must take and how they get them to do that? There he is. One nice thing about him, he's very, very quiet, isn't he? He's only made a couple little growls. And that's only to tell you what he won. <laughs> now we get a chance to see his different kinds of spots and his lines and his... I wonder about those white spots on the back of his ears. They must have some... Camouflage they do, in if the you jungle. can see them. Yeah. At night time, they'll shine, and if a hunter's sneaking up on them, they'll think the cat is looking at them or away. Oh, it may scare him away. You mean mm -hmm. if something like a hawk or an owl, maybe? Right. Is they'll it? think the cat's awake and looking at him. For the same heaven's thing sake. with the stripes around his eyes. They're <laughs> white. And when he closes his eyes, they come together, and it looks like he's still awake. For goodness sakes. Tricky. When his eyes turn white, it when... No, there's some uh, markings right above his eyes and right below. Oh, yeah. Can't and so, even though he's asleep, it looks like he might still be awake, and whoever mm -hmm. might be trying to catch him would be scared away. Keith, didn't you find a caterpillar once that had those had big eyes on these back that weren't really eyes, mm -hmm. and they helped to scare the birds away? So that's a really amazing. That's how nature takes care of them. <laughs> oh, that's a nice spot. Looks like you trained him specially. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. We lost you. <laughs> well, what, what are some of the things you have to worry about with ordinary pets, dogs and cats, and have to be sure about if you're going to have animals in it? Did run away? Yes, well... And doesn't have rabies? Right, so who do you have to take him to? A doctor, the vet. Right, you want to find out about Taru and the vet? Does he have any um, rabies? No, when we got him, we had to take him right down to the vet for shots, for distemper, and other diseases that he could get because he can get them a lot easier than a regular cat. Being you know, that he came from a warm climate and he's, and he's susceptible to a here, lot of different here, things. Here, Would you like a drink? Well, let's try them on one thing at a time. When he drinks, he makes a noise. Yes, I was just going to listen to it. It's quite and easy. And where do you suppose he would find water in the jungle? In the water, in a stream. In a stream something? or a lake. Mm -hmm. Boy, I bet that tasted good, Taru. It's all refreshed, no. tacked up some more. <laughs> well, next time he comes down, <laughs> we'll try him on his food. <laughs> that was very nice. Very well behaved and trained, well trained ocelot.
Has he ever been sick since you've had him? Yes, he has. In the winter months, he got a very bad cold. And he was teething at the same time, so he got a temperature of 105. He could have died. Oh, my goodness. That's bad for, if it's a person. I, sound, I guess it's even worse if it's a... Well, 107. Him. Anything harder than that would oh. kill him. Has he ever got hurt? Well, the way he jumps around and climbs, he fell. <laughs> and he fractured his foot. They had to put it in a splint and oh. wrapped it up for about a week. And he had to hobble around on three legs. <laughs> I bet he didn't like that. No, as a matter of fact, from trying to be careful of his hurt foot, he sprained the front one. <laughs> and he couldn't even stand for a whole day oh, or two. You know, he thing. just had to carry him around. Did he spend a lot of time trying to get the splint off? Oh, I know animals all the time. Do. Chewing on it. Biting it off. <laughs> Did he get it off? No, he got it started, but he didn't get it all off. It was taped real well. What are you doing now, Teru? Showing us your tail again, huh? No. <laughs> Does he get up and roam around at night mm -hmm. when you're asleep? But he lets so... you know if he's hungry or if yeah. he wants to go out. Has he ever jumped on you when you were in bed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He pulls the covers off. Does it bother off you? And, pardon me? Does it bother you? It wakes me up. <laughs> I have to tend to him. You want to jump up here and have a snack, Teru? Still checking Hodgepodge Lodge out. You'd think he'd know everything there was to know about Hodgepodge Lodge by now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I bet they have a very good sense of smell. Smell and hearing. And hearing. And sight, too, I mm -hmm. guess. With us. He hears noises that you don't even hear. Nobody can ever burglarize a home when he's around. <laughs> you do growl? He growls, but even if you're with him, you don't hear any noises, and he'll perk his head up, and, you know, right away you know that there's somebody coming. Mm. Have you ever had any trouble with him chewing through the leash like that, <clears throat> if you tied him up? No, not yeah, with this. Okay. Is that leash made in leather? Mm-hmm. It's a leather leash and collar. Rattle, jingle the bell and see if he'll, if he's interested in that. That caught down here. Oh, so. Oh. Let's see. Maybe he'll come up and... There. Jingle it. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> oh, he likes you, Stacy. He came right to the bed. Here, how about lunch? Supper. Oh, okay. Is no? Your ball? No? Do you play with your ball? Sorry. Don't, you know, if, if he'll eat, keep letting me eat. When I eat, you have to leave him alone. He'll turn around and bite you. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how heavy he is when he steps on your lap. Yes, how he much does 10 he weigh? pounds. 10 pounds. He doesn't look that heavy, does he? Even when he's full grown, he's not going to look as heavy as he is. Because he'll he stays thin. Long and thin. Right. How many baby ocelots are there in a family, usually? Uh, they only have two at a time. Oh, no wonder they're so expensive. <laughs> That's why they're hard to come by, too. And you cannot breed these domestically. It has uh, happened, but very few times. I don't remember even seeing one in the zoo. Probably not around here. Other places have them. Teru, does he know his name, do you think, when you talk to he him? He knows his name, but he'll only come when he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> How about purring? Does he ever purr like a regular cat? Now and then, but he's uh, very quiet about it. You can't always uh, hear him. Teru, you're nice. You're nice. Maybe you'll have a book. No. I guess this isn't his usual meal time. Does he eat one meal a day? I feed him about three times a day. Oh. He has a pretty good life, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> feed him the same time every day, and so he gets used to it. Oh. See the spots on his ears now? Oh, now we can see. Oh, yes. So the white spots on back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can still see that nice stripe down the middle of his back, though. When he has very mad, long eyelashes, too. Sticks up. What? When they're mad, the back sticks up. Oh, yeah. Well, his fur isn't, his fur isn't long enough 
like cats, you know, regular cats get. Oh. <laughs> Just in the water. Oh, come on, Taru. Here. Here. If you like that basket so much. Yeah. Never had one better. <laughs> Good thing I didn't empty my wastebasket before you came. <laughs> he wouldn't have anything to play with. <laughs> he almost looks like he is in the jungle with vines trailing around his head. Turn around, Taru, so we can see your beautiful eyes. He wants to bury his head in the sand. Yes, <laughs> like an ostrich burying his head in the sand. Taru. Come out here. Come yeah, well, here. Give him back his vine if that's what he likes the best. Would you like some of my vines has. to take home with you? <laughs> 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 Do you ever take him out for walks to the shopping center or whatever? You no, know, when if the weather's nice, yeah, we'll take him out when it's nice yeah. out. Do people sort of do a double take oh, and say? They just have to come and ask what he is and <laughs> all kinds of questions they ask. Would you sit in my lap? Oh. No. <laughs> well, he stayed briefly. Keith, can you make a little noise like a bird? Let's see how he's... Here he is. <laughs> you notice whenever he walks, you cannot hear one sound. He just sort of... He keeps his claws in, right? Mm-hmm. Definitely walks my chair. That's why he's certainly getting his chlorophyll for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Green plants. Green plants for cats. <laughs> and he's very sure footed. Look at that. He can do all kinds of tricky, tricky climbs. I think oh. he could balance himself on anything. <laughs> well, Marianne, I want to thank you and Teru very, very much for coming down well, thank to the Hodgepodge to Lodge today. And, and thank you for coming. I hope you learned about ocelots. Goodbye. was made possible through funds contributed by members of the Maryland Center for Public Broadcasting. Center for Public Broadcasting.